you must learn the gas percentage composition of inhaled air versus exhaled air. Inhaled air is just the atmosphere of course. 78% of the atmosphere is nitrogen, 21% is oxygen and 0.04% is carbon dioxide. The water vapour content varies depending on humidity. The composition of exhaled air is as follows. Nitrogen doesn't change, so it's 78%. This is because nitrogen is an inert gas and our body can't use it. Oxygen drops to 16% because the body has used up some oxygen for aerobic respiration. Notice our bodies don't use up all 21% of the oxygen because they're just not that efficient. Carbon dioxide levels increase to 4% in exhaled air because carbon dioxide is produced by aerobic respiration. Water vapour is saturated in exhaled air because the alveoli are moist and the air is warmer so it can hold more moisture. A simple huff and puff demonstration can show how exhaled air has more carbon dioxide than inhaled air. Lime water is used as a test for carbon dioxide. If the lime water turns cloudy, or some describe it as milky, then that means carbon dioxide is present. Inhaled air is drawn through one boiling tube containing lime water, and then exhaled air is passed through a second boiling tube containing lime water. The exhaled air should turn the lime water milky. In the next lesson, we will look at the effects of smoking on the respiratory system.